Okay, so the topic of this video is to show you how to take the file that you purchased from our company, Photobooth Graphics, as a custom design that we emailed you, and it's called an XBDR. It's made for darkroom, and uh, what we tend to do is we send you a PNG file and an XBDR file, so that way, uh, if something happens to the XBDR file, the darkroom file, then uh, you're able to recreate that that darkroom file uh, very easily. And I'm going to show you two different ways to take your file and upload it into the into the system. Okay, let's start. First off, we're going to open up darkroom. So now we're going to do is go on a desktop or whatnot. And uh, we're on the main screen. This is Darkroom 3. And you start your new event. Create a new event. So we'll just call this uh, Test Event. And uh, you see today, today is 6-14-2017. Uh, the description is, uh, is uh, showing how to open a XBDR uh, Darkroom file. And we're going to hit OK. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, this is step, this is, this is option one, is I'm going to come in and I'm going to hit choose right up here on the right side. Okay, and then I'm going to come up to the very top. And you'll see a black bar that says new, add, edit, delete, and sample. Okay, very simply, I'm just going to come over here to add. That's the very first option. Uh, it's already put me in the folder that I'm going to, but I'm going to go ahead and hit browse here. And I'm going to come down to this PC and I'm going to click on downloads. Okay. I uh, just click on downloads and it'll automatically open up that file by hitting OK. All right. Next thing we see is the file so we just click on that once and we click on add selected okay now that was called two by six dash c24 okay so that's a file type name so make sure you make you you pay attention to the file type and that will tell you what it is okay so second option second option is to open up your windows down here and and we go to this PC and we click on downloads and you see a just a white piece of paper here with a fold on it uh, it usually means that it, it's not uh, recognized to be open to be open to open in a uh, program in Windows and uh, there's no preview that you're able to see now it is a Windows file and you can you can open it in darkroom yes there's not a problem with that but I'm going to show you the second option of doing this okay so very very first thing I do is I always come over here and I do a right click and I click on copy and I come over to the left and you'll see OS X here, that, so that's an X drive. So XBDR, let's go over the definition of XBDR. X drive, booth, darkroom. Okay, so back over here to the OS X, we come down to booth templates, click on that, and I'm just going to come over here to the right and the white, and I'm just going to click on paste. Okay. Now you see that 2x6-C24 XBDR has been put in. I'm going to come back over to Darkroom. I'll open that up. I'm going to click on Choose. Scroll up to the top. And bada bing, bada boom. There's 2x6-C24. And we'll just choose that. And there you go. As simple as that. Five minute tutorial. Have a good day.